Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Enshrouded on the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. It's a weird sound. Spooky. It's a spooky sound. We went and did the first hollow hall today. We did in the stream. The uh, March 28th, 2024 stream is where we did the hollow hall. Took a tick to get through it picked up a bunch of new stuff that's what i'm dropping off right now of course some of these things we already have we, we know what they are but uh it's a great place to get bones i can tell you that much there's bones all over the place down there you can see we've got tons of them wow we got a lot of bones out of that this is something new the toxic slime is new uh, we dug that up through a grate we have these ectoplasm fragments the word is i need 250 of those guys in order to open up the next hollow hole so we'll have to see. We're going to do all kinds of different things today. Uh, okay, we got this over here. Let's put you right there. Yeah, let's do that right there. That's the good stuff. And then we put these uh, hollow halls block. We're going to look at those today. And then uh, a bunch of potions and a bunch of odds and ends of, of different things too. I'm out of... Uh, you know what I'm out of. I ran out of the dang... Ooh, here's another thing. Bone arrows. That's new. Here's a new thing. We got the spine chill axe. I don't think any of these things we're going to actually keep, though. We're going to hold on to these because I'd like to try those out. Uh, ice protection lotion is something new today as well. That we got out of that very first hollow hall. Very easy to get to. Was a ton of fun. It was a good time. Well, this is legendary. Okay, that's a mace. That's legendary. Let's hold on to that. We'll throw that in there. We'll probably scrap these. We also got the silver shot bow. There is a ton of loot. Uh, people telling me that, you know, be careful and, and make sure you have plenty of stamp or plenty of um, time to get through it. It does take quite a bit of time to get through it. We'll throw the heel channel in there. We're going to keep these on us. I got a lot of stuff on me. I do. I don't care. It's been really fun so far. Yeah, this bone scar mage. What is this guy all about? Let's see him. Oh, you know what? He could be my new breaker of things so I can get into stuff faster. There's a ton of jars in this place, man. I mean, a ton of jars. Let's do them. Let's do them up. Let's do them up. Enhance him. Yeah, that's good. Hello there. Does he have anything new for us? Let's see. We're going to kind of check everybody and see if they've got anything new for us. It doesn't look like it. He's got nothing new. Thank you. Let's put stuff away. Uh, I guess I just... I did a quick drop and stuff, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. We found these today. These skull summoning vessels. These are really fun. It's a skull that floats around the air for a little while and it shoots at your enemies. And it was really fun. Uh, open the place up. I took a break for lunch after uh, playing this morning with the stream. It was just great. Thanks ever so much. You got all the making it to the stream. That's fantastic. Those of you watching the stream afterwards, thank you very much for doing so. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the series. I'm having an amazing time in this place. Amazing time. We always potted plants around here. Every time I come through here, I just love it. Look at that, right? Isn't that gorgeous? That says entryway to me right there. Pleasant, happy entryway. Um, oh, some, we were I'm looking at some, a block pallet for the new place that we're going to build out in the woods. We've got the uh, shroud wood floor here. We've got the, um, uh, palm wood here. This is the Tudor style kind of build right there. And then we've got this stone here. I, I'd have to look it up again. I have to pull them out. And then the, we've got the, um, the well block right here, which is beautiful. We'll put the black block down to some of a, kind of a black marble. I want to take you over to the, the, uh, the first hollow hall real quick today. We needed a little more of that stuff in order to, uh, I guess, get to the next hollow hall. We have a new person to drop down is what we need to do also. So I've got a new character that we can summon in place. So we got to see who that person is as well. But I thought first thing we do is go over there and um, see if we can get a little more resource. Poke our head in there so you guys get kind of a feel for it too. And then if you want to go back and watch the stream, we really spent a lot of time in there. I think if you go about 30 minutes in on the stream, that's about where we kind of got started uh, over there. Sweet. Thank you. Okay, so our target is not this direction. Uh, let's look at the map. It's over here. I got to go uh, over here a little bit further. Oh, look at the little honey pot. 
Pooh Bear left his honey pot right there, and I got my fingers on it now. Uh, where am I? What am I doing here? Hollow halls. Let me uh, let me mark it. Let me put that as uh, set as waypoint. This is the right way. Yeah, it is. I'm second guessing myself like crazy. So it's a beautiful glide over here. We're going to be able to glide most of the way. We're looking for that dark hole up there on the side of the mountain there. There's a walkway right here, a whole road that leads you right on up there. But if we go ahead and do our little thing, we can, we can get going even further up the path. Just kind of glide right along with it. It's so great. Okay, and then up we go. It was a ton of fun, and thanks to everybody who was in the stream with me today helping me out. I had a couple of moments where I got stuck in heaven, you know, just the typical radio moment stuff going on. <laughs> so, uh, but we didn't have too much trouble here. We're level 25, the enemies are level 10, so if you're a high level, go ahead and come in here. It's it's worth it. It's, it's a lot of fun. There are a lot of enemies. There are a lot of enemies in some of the rooms. It's uh, pretty impressive, especially when you get closer to the end. We'll get up here and, uh, oh, I don't have some of my food with me. That's okay. We'll be all right. We're just going to poke our head. I need to find a little bit more of that green shard if we can. That ectoplasm. It's right here. This is the spot. So first of all, the place is extremely cool to look at. Oh, I don't have my torch either. My torch got destroyed today. Well, I, I, I dropped it on the ground to use it so I could pick stuff up and pick up material and it um, it fell into the world basically that's that's what I'm getting at it fell into the world I'm just gonna eat the two foods we should be okay with that and then we'll do a stamina potion beautiful super fun super good time So you got these jars everywhere, right here, just everywhere. They're gonna have the marble in it. It's gonna have all the gooey stuff, all the good things you're looking for: bones, uh, arrows, uh, lots. We got lots of potions. These guys come out every now and again. Just you know, just smash them. You got these piles of bones. Did you get your bones from? Um, it's amazing how many there is. I'm gonna try to take these guys on. This mace is pretty sweet. I've got to think it's probably pretty good at this. I think this first room we shot everybody. I'm going to go ahead and try to use my staff a little bit with you guys because we are going to be switching out our powers. <laughs> We're not going to go through the whole thing today, but I did want to show it to you. These guys put out these little green dudes, and they're not that... The fire seems to work very well. And again, we're low level, so... You know, it's that sort of thing. Makes it kind of easy to go through here, but... Uh, it sure is fun to be in one of these. And again, it uh, looks like it reset. I'm looking for a particular material. And then I can show it to you guys, and then you'll know what it is. And I'll have a little more of it, hopefully. If it gets to be too far in here, then I'm probably... Oop, there we go. Just swing again. Oh, he got me. Oh, there's a skelly down here. Okay, that worked really fast on him. I might just use this exclusively. There is a repair station on each level. Of this, there's multiple levels, of course. But yeah, so you come in and, of course, loot it up. Loot it up. Lots and lots of bones, which I'm sure what I'll probably do, what I should do, we should just set one of these up that we could just drop bones into. I guess we could throw the bones away too. You got little health sparks, which we found out. Those are pretty cool. This is the entryway, the start of it. We didn't find the glowy stuff that I'm looking for. Can't remember quite how far in we were. Oh. 
we will take that red marble. We're going to go back to the base today and look at some of the new blocks that came to us. Uh-oh. Looks like they spotted me. Oh, here's that repair station. I don't want them hitting on that repair station. That's not the best. That's not the best wand to use. The, the fire works really great for these guys. I've noticed. You know, fire works better. But again, they're low levels, so it's not too bad. Uh, we'll lose a little magic on these guys, though. They're all nice and clumped up over here. Maybe not. There's a dog right there. Boom. Bow works really great for these guys, too. They're pretty easy to wipe out. You know. It's not even, I don't think it's worth stopping to pick up their bones. You get so many... Well, you know... The ones that leave the, the nice ash pile, I, I, I like to grab those up. Because those tend to have uh, some pretty good stuff in them. Right? I mean, that's the thing. So, we've got this new way of opening doors, too. There's gateways now. Oh, I see. There are two lines right there. Okay. I did not notice the brighter lines on here. You guys were talking about lines today in the stream, and I was like, what, are, what lines? But there are two lines there, so we need to find two of these runes. There's one here and one up there. Awesome. Okay. It helps when you understand. <laughs> you know? It surely does. Let's finish looting the room up, though, because that's what we're here for. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll grab this one. So now we're down to one line there. And we're looking for those, those ectoplasm shards. I can see where later on in the harder levels, there's, those guys are going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Those ones that uh, spawn inside those jars. Okay, I think I'm ready for the next room. And oh, oh, you know what? I should probably repair all my stuff first. It was back here and upstairs, wasn't it? Oh, I missed a jar, it looks like. There we go. Let's grab that. Here it is. There we go. This is actually, this mallet's working out pretty good here, I think. Oh, I'm not going to be able to jump that high. Oh. Did I still not get it? There we go. Oh, they're all running that way. What are they running that way for? That was kind of weird, huh? Did you guys, could you see that? They all ran down that hallway right there. There's a whole bunch of them here. I think they're getting into position or something, maybe? I don't I don't know. Oh yes. There we go, beautiful. Uh, there's something for you to read right here. Uh, there's some ecto. There's an ectoplasm fragment. There's one ectoplasma fragment. Yikes! Just that. That's that's one. I, I guess they're not super. Ri well, we're gonna we're gonna be able to dig it up. Here. We're gonna find a place to. Oh, let you go now. We're gonna be able to dig uh, some up. That's what I'm trying to get to to show you guys. So just in case you are wondering. 
Now this is just kind of the first part of this this particular place. Don't forget to check your catacombs. These bone arrows are really awesome as well. Just FYI, they are super nice. That's what we're using right now. I've not made any. There's just, just it. There's, I think a bunch of new stuff has opened up. What is this right here? That's the door. Okay, so we did that. You would have read that note. Uh, there's a little cave thing that goes back this way and pops you back out. It just runs around in a circle and brings you right back out here. So I'm not going to go back down that way, but you can if you want to. I'm looking for the ectoplasma stuff. How much do we have on us right now? We have seven. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to be able to dig some up. I need to go find out where we could dig some up. So we're back to this direction here. There's uh, pottery up here. I will take the free potions all day long. Okay, this go around. I'm going to drop one of these skull guys in here. Shooting him in the back, which is really funny. So we cut through him pretty quick, but this is my little skull friend here. It's better when we have just one enemy, so we can just kind of look at him and watch him work, but he's pretty fun to have. He, he causes some damage. You shoot him in the back and stuff. It's just great. It's just great to have a little skull friend with you, you know? It's worth the little bit of mana that you, you pop each time. Uh, this club works great on these guys, by the way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, see, the other thing we didn't have with us is some, uh, some grenades, which would be nice to be able to just cut through this stuff quicker, but there is a room here. Is this where I got my first taste of that green stuff? The shards? There's a place... There's a... We're, we're getting close. I'm sure we're getting close. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, that's right. There's a chest right here. That's what this room is all about. I forgot about this. It's just got this suspect pile of stuff here. So, yeah, there's a chest here. Snake Spine Wand. Damage of 20, huh? Ugh. Well, we are at the beginner. This is kind of the beginning level, right? Right, right, right. That's, that's what we talked about. The loot's not fantastic in some cases when it comes to the weapons, but everything else is pretty fun. Especially this red marble stuff that I can't wait to get to... Uh, we're going to go home and check it out. But yeah, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. There's just so much loot in this place. You're going to be going nuts with it. Got these this really cool furniture here that they've added to it. I love having stuff on the shelves like that. These shelves are pretty cool. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do placement like that, but that's pretty neat. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, maybe it's this room. It looks like yeah, I think that green stuff up ahead there is what we're looking for. That is what I believe we are looking for. The juicy green stuff. Oh, nope. We can't let you keep going. The juicy green stuff is what we're looking for. There's some little vases up here. Here's some bigger ones. I believe this stuff respawns about every 30 minutes, right? So, eventually, you know, everything is spawning in behind you. I don't know if I can actually teleport out of here. I don't know. You can see him fighting in the background there.
There he is. Go, shoot him, dude. Shoot him. There you go. Give him a nice little zap. Zap him in the buttocks. Oh, he's done fighting him now. Here he goes. Oh, got him. Nice. Barrier unlocked. Oh, I did see that. Those guys had the little barrier marker floating around with them. So once you kill them, you can open the barrier. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, I think, yeah, this is the stuff over here we're looking for, guys. Right here. Get our pickaxe out. This is it right here. Mm-hmm. Bones and... Ec yep. Ec oh, God. There's somebody here with us. Oh. Excuse me. I was trying to show something. There we go. See? Bump. Ectoplasma shards. If I get these again, we should be good for the next level. Be able to go to the next hollow hall very soon. We're talking about go ahead and taking and, ch and changing into wizard format because the wizard is a lot of fun. Um, so I'm thinking about uh, exchanging my points around and all that good stuff to uh, be able to do that. And we'll focus more on uh, the staff and spells and see how we do with that and if we enjoy it. I used it a little bit today, a little bit more than I have in the past. And I like it. I don't like the fact that it's so dark in here. I really apologize for this. Yeah, then we drop down. I'm going to see if I can teleport out of here. I feel like I got enough of that right there, giving you guys a taste of this place. It gets to be more enemies. You are going to drop down into here. And uh, there's more puzzles to be solved. All that good stuff, as you would expect. Uh, we're supposed to be able to make this stained glass here pretty soon. If not already. Uh, so we just need to go... And I, you know what I talked about doing is talked about busting some of this away. I wanted to bring some TNT bombs with me and break this down and see if there's anything underneath here that's of interest. Place is really cool. Really cool. Okay, so let's see. I didn't, you know, I, I meant to do it earlier today during stream. Can I teleport out of here? Or do I have to go back to the front door? Let's see. Uh, we'll go place that new character too. Looks like we can go right from here. I won't hit my head on the ceiling. Oh my gosh, look at you. Wow, okay. Uh, oh wow, okay, so I see how this looks. All right. That is pretty sweet. Uh, everybody wants to always see the floor too, which makes total sense. So let's take a look at the floor. I guess we get underneath to see the ceiling. It's really got this nice point that it juts up like this. I love that point right there. That's really cool. How does it look up against this guy here? Oh, that was weird. It took out the wood too. You see that? Hmm. They might be a little too... Both of them might be a little too decorative to be put with each other, huh? Sure is a pretty block, though. The floor is really nice. What's the ceiling look like? Oh, wow, that looks pretty sweet. Look at that. Um, I don't want to fall off of here. So much eerie music there forever, it seemed like, huh? <laughs> I think they got something going on with the music right now. That looks pretty cool. I like that. I like how that reaches out for it. Now, for myself, I would bring that window down one block so that uh, that uh, bracket that comes down would not touch the top of the windowsill or be in the windowsill. But I thought that looked pretty cool, the, the windows like that. Um, do we automatically get that sound because we're in this block?
No. Does this block change the sound effects? No. It's just my imagination. Okay, it's just my imagination. <laughs> it's just my imagination running away with me, literally. It has occurred to me that many of my questions will be answered if, if, I summon in our new guy. <laughs> our summoning staff is here. Let's do that. Let's get him in here. Our new guy is right here, Alden Crawley, the Collector. Wow, he's interesting. Alden. I'm gonna put Alden in our library here. Right here. Oh, look at you, aren't you a spooky son of a gun? Hold on, Alden. Holy cow, look at this guy. I'm going to need that. Alden. Ah, fresh air fills my tired lungs. I greet thee, new friend. I am a ferryman, a keeper of souls, a guide in the night. How lucky for you, aimless one. I will light your path. Talk. I got some rare things for you. Oh, do you now? Okay, you got some rare things for me. I'm the collector at your service. Mm -hmm. I'm free at last, thanks to you, my friend. All names are fleeting, just sound and smoke. I have as many as an hourglass has grains of sand. To you, I will be Alden. I am the light that beckons downstream. A fading star behind the north winds. A collector and breaker of earthy chains. I shall part the veil for you once you're ready. The toll is little, I promise you, friend. Oh, wow. Um, skulls of our enemies. Mm. The maniacal hollow are driven by resentment. They must be set free. Return to the winds of fate. Slash through their white-hot anger. Crack their pale fingers like wishbones. Pluck the gold teeth from their jaws and bring me the head of the one-eyed beast in their midst so we may drink from its skull. Gather your might and craft the key to descend. Jeez, craft the key to descend. <sighs> New quest, ectoplasm press for the collector. Okay, the flame's blessing. Mm -hmm. The people follow your lead, bright-eyed friend. Why? I see a pulsing light inside your ribcage held by flesh and bone. Interesting. Perhaps you've done as I could not. Flameborn, they call you. The, the Flameborn, they call you. So the flame bestows both blessing and curse. Oh, how the thread of fate unwinds to bring us together, friend. New lore, hollow, the collector, and the flameborn. A tainted breeze. Uh, it hangs over the breeze. With each fresh breath I take, an unknown foulness settles in my lungs. What is this? Another curse? The shroud, you say? A malignant fog to suffocate the foolish and brave? Such mortal matters hardly phase those who rise beyond. You and I, flame, touched as we are, will carry on nonetheless. New Lore Hollow, the collector of the shroud. And then we've got the one-eyed beasts. <laughs> The north wind carried them downstream. They hail from the faraway crags, monolithic and stalwart. Cyclopic gaze peering towards the dancing gusts of light on the horizon. Drawn to the shimmers like moths to a flame and fatefully greedy. They fled, once burnt and hollowed by the curse. Do not show them mercy. They'd crush you to dust, given the chance. New lore hollow. The one-eyed beasts. Okay, and then what can we craft with you, huh? Uh, the revelwood bone key. Spells, ectoplasm fragments look really important. Summoning, the skull summoning vessel. He is so cool. I love him. Arrows, can okay, get 50 arrows for 10 ectoplasm. These arrows are, wow. Ectoplasm gem. A, face, a faceted gemstone made from refined frozen ectoplasm. And then what do we do with that ecto... Okay, tables. Oh, look at this. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, you got to make the gems. Oh, of course. For the furniture. The furniture that we noticed. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. We need a lot more than that then. The Revelwood Bone Key. We should make it. There it is. Until your blood is frozen. Until my blood is frozen? No. That's it, huh? So I opened, I, I, I made a key. Opens doors in the Revelwood Hollow Halls. Oh, okay. 
Okay, journal, quest, ectoplasm press for the collector. The collector revealed the location of the hollow holes in the revelwood. Okay, makes sense. Here we go, guys. Reach the location and descend to slay the one-eyed creature within and take its head to enable new crafting options. Gather your strength and your allies, if present, to prepare yourself accordingly. Okay, the ectoplasm plasma press for the collector is what is we, we need to get. But in the meantime, we could make a couple of things. Hold on. Um, oh, I went to the chest. I want, I want to talk to you. Okay, so this ectoplasm gem is that and that, huh? What do I need for a chair and a table? I need eight for a table. One for the... One for, okay, so I need nine. Nine. There we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. There they are. Oh, that's so nice looking. Look at that. Plus two comfort. Crypt candle. You're going to have to have huge comfort. I, we ran out of our comfort while we were in there. Granted, we probably could have done it with a, a campfire or something, but I'm just saying it's a big place. Plus two comfort. There's a chair. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, golly, man, that's a really nice table. What about the cupboards? Oh, look at that. Okay, and then the shelves. Oh, they look gorgeous too. All right. Um, we're going to put those... We're going to put those away. Okay, I'm not going to make the table and chair just yet. Oh my god, that is some really cool stuff. Um, where am I going to store his things? We're going to put them up here. For now, we're going to put them in the drop chest uh, out here at Balthazar. Oh, Balthazar's got something going on above his head, too. Hold on. Hold on, Balthazar. Hold on, buddy. We're working on it. I see you. About the collector. Uh-oh. A warning. I task you to visit the holly, the hollow hall, so I fear our new associate is partly my doing. You know, I walk a path of light. This individual lingers in the shadows. Shelter for all, of course, but I advise caution. This creature twists the strands of fate and ties them into a chaotic swirl. Such dark energy. I wonder how they've obtained such powers. He doesn't trust the guy, but what do you got for crafting? You got something new in here, buddy? Okay. Somebody also pointed out today that um, the map doesn't have those little yellow markers all over it anymore. Oh, it's so nice. They're just the color they're supposed to be. <laughs> you know? So all those yellow markers are not on the map anymore, which I had not announced and said. But it is a beautiful thing that that's not there. Okay, so we're good to go there. I like this door closed the other way. Open the other way. Thank you. Um... I was working on a path around the front of the house, and I kind of wanted to work on that a little bit more. I've got some time, and I'd gotten it started, and then um, I thought, well, let's go do the last mission. The last mission was in yesterday's stream, March 27th, and it wasn't a very big mission. I was much smaller than I thought it was going to be. I was actually pretty surprised. Uh, I need some dirt. I'm going to take some rock with me. That's limestone. Can you place limestone? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, rubble. Probably so, huh? Oh, dirt roadblock is what I want. And I think that's all I need. Actually, I don't need the dirt. The dirt can stay here. And we do need... A, oh, wrong one. Let's grab a thousand stone. All right, beautiful. And we got our hammer. All right, sweet. That's all we need. And there's something else I need to do. Let's go here. We're going to take a little break from running around. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's breathe a little bit. Okay, so the path. We got our new farm in, right? These trees have grown massively. I love where they are. They're great. These guys are working too. You guys are telling me these trees will grow in any soil. The ones you see growing out here, this is the Revel Wood tree right here. They are growing in farm soil. I put farm soil down underneath them uh, to make them, I guess, grow faster. It says in the recipes that they are supposed to take, they're supposed to be in special soil or, or if they'll, they'll grow right in the, in, 
in the right soil. So I thought it had to be farm soil for all of them, but apparently not. If I plant it here, it, it'll it grow. It just may take forever and a day for it to do it. Is what I'm understanding from all of you guys out there. So um, I'll probably do some more tree work once we get this kind of worked out a little bit more. So I started making my path here. I'm kind of keeping it simple. It's going to be just a little path, a narrow path. Nothing too, you know, crazy. I'm going to put some rock around it. We're going to have some fun with it. Uh, hmm. So we do a little bit of stone work along the path here, and that would work out really nice, you know. And kind of sealing it up. Then we'll go along the other edge, the outer edge of this, and try to alter it up a little bit. Maybe I should go with this guy. What does that do? That actually works out pretty good right there. Yeah, that works out pretty nice, actually. Um, I wonder, though, if I did this... Over here with the grass. Just pop it up a little bit. See, that helps it look like it, it's in here better. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I could do this with the, with the rake, too, but, you know, this is fun. I actually like this better, altering the train this way. This seems like a, a fun thing to do. Valheim's got the same thing, right? With the with the uh, with the stuff, with the rake, the hoe, the yeah, the hoe. Yeah, just little patches of flowers like that is just beautiful. I love that. I love that to death. That is really nice. We got a little rocky edge going on here. We'll try to add some more trees in down the road, of course. This is working out pretty nice right here, I think. Right there, beautiful, just like that. We got the flowery path going on. We could use a few flowers over here. There we go. Awesome. How about we do this right? Right there. There we go. And maybe a little bit of this action right here. And maybe a little more right there. That's nice. I love that, right? That's so cool. Look at that. I'm getting carried away now. Beautiful, beautiful. Hmm. I probably should chisel this out and make our path go down into this. I don't like how steep it is here. I don't. Let me know what, what I can do about that. We can work on that some more. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting a few trees planted. I'm going to actually put some more of this right in here because that looks really weird over there. I think I like having the... Uh, a little bit of plantage showing up against the building here. You know? What I mean, Jelly Bean? It looks nice. Looks nice to have a little green up there. Yeah, beautiful. Maybe I should do a little more of that right here. There we go. You don't have to worry about anybody jumping over that, right? Flowers, flowers, and more flowers. It's the best thing to do. I need to... Give you a little boink. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so we could use a, a few trees. 
We got this guy coming in right here. He's going to be, I think, pretty sizable. Does he say his dismantle still on him? He does. So this gun takes a long. That one takes a long time to grow. Even the farm soil is taking a tick. We've got a few of the red maples going on out front here, so I don't think we need any more of that. But we could go see about maybe a few more trees and bushes. Oh, you've got new stuff for us. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. What do we got? Another day. Another that faceless creature. Oh my God. Nobody seems to like this person. Your newest friend is yours alone. They have the stench of decay on them, seeping from their robes and breath. I watch them. They linger near the altar, glare at the fire, at the cinders and ash. I see no reflection in their eyes, no light. Gives me shivers like old howling Pike did. Oh boy. All right, she doesn't, uh, she doesn't like this person. Nothing new there. All right. Wow. She said it was on her mind, didn't she? I was growing the trees to see how they grow in farm soil. That's the big one. <laughs> it's a massive tree. Look at the amount of space it takes up down here. There, of course, is our maple. I put them all on farm soil to see who would grow. They all grew. This guy is ready. This guy can still be dismantled. Yeah, it says dismantle on him. And I believe this one says dismantle as well. So it's not finished growing yet. I was going to take this one down because it is done. It is huge. And I think if I get this one out of the way, maybe these guys will start growing over here. I don't know. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. We'll see how that uh, that opens it up. It's really pretty though, isn't it? I love this tree right here with the curled and the, the gnarly look to it. It's got the twists and the bends and stuff. This one's, they're all beautiful, don't get me wrong. But this one's got some really neat twists and turns. When it first starts to grow, it really is gnarly looking. But uh, I love the canopy on it. It's a nice, big, broad canopy on that tree. Yeah, they did a great job with the trees. All the models look beautiful. Now I've forgotten why I came up here. Trees. Bushes. Trees and bushes. Good drainage for the berries, you know. Berry bushes. Almost didn't happen. What the heck's going on around here, right? Radio, you're, plant you're planting nettle everywhere. Yep, that's right, I am. Not anymore, though. <laughs> Berry bush. Very bush. Very bush. I'm going to grab that nettle, that one, that one, and I'm going to put these guys in, in place. One, two, and a three, and a four. Put a couple over here. There we go. We'll put some more over here. I don't know what's what, so we'll wait for things to grow up, and I'll decide what I need to do. Yeah, that's pretty clunky down there. We'll have to figure it out. Well, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll watch for your comments. We got a lot of greenery going on here, guys. A lot of greenery for sure. Okay. That's that. If I took this, I don't need to have. I don't need to have that in my inventory. If I took that, let's see. Um. I don't think it's going to be consistent here. Yeah, I was thinking I could just um, add some wood plankage across here, but yeah, I don't know about that. It's going to be kind of, it's kind of at the wrong angle, you know? That's okay. That's at the wrong angle for me. Now, we've got some light sources here. I don't think we need any light source really along the path. Maybe something a little inexpensive along here, maybe, but for the most part, I don't want to light up the path too much. There's no real need for it. There we go. Little construction today. Figured out a little bit of stuff. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, give me your tips. Give me your tips on this. It is steppy. 
It is a little steppy. It gets a little bit bumpy down here right at the bottom. A little bit of lumpy bumpy, but um, I've seen uh, roads like that in here, so I'm going to say it's okay for now. You guys let me know what you think. want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking again next time. Yeah, a little path. It'll be all nice and green next time you guys are here. It's going to be beautiful.
You haven't seen the last of me.